Hello and welcome to Dinellen High School's 2020 Awards Evening. We'd like to thank you for tuning in this evening and joining us and acknowledging your child, the student's hard work for, that they have done throughout the school year. It's a different award ceremony than we usually have. Obviously, we're doing it virtually this year, but we wanted to make sure we had every opportunity to recognize their hard work and accomplishments. We have many individuals that will be presenting this evening from various fields and disciplines for, again, all of the hard work and accomplishments the students have done this year. I will begin the awards with the Middlesex County School Board Outstanding Student Award. There's usually a dinner involved for these students and their families that we get to attend, but unfortunately this year we were not able to do so. This award is presented to one junior and one senior from each high school in Middlesex County for their work in the community, what we call unsung heroes always trying to do the right thing for their school and community. This year's winners in grade 11, Ruby Zhao, and our senior, Nick Christian. The next award is the New Jersey Principals and Supervisors Association Student Leadership nominee. This award goes to a graduating senior who demonstrates leadership in school activities other than just athletics. Each New Jersey high school principal can nominate one student for consideration and the students submit a resume, letter of recommendation, and an essay under the topic, The Importance of Student Involvement in School Activities. This year, our nominee was Laurel Honeywell. Our next award is the Middlesex County Secondary Principals Association Outstanding Student Award. Again, usually a dinner is involved for this student and their family, so we were not happy that we weren't able to spend an evening together. Our recipient this year is a young lady who participated in so many different activities within our school. She's a great student. She played in the band. Athletics, was an artist, and an all-around fantastic individual. This year, our award winner went to Sarah Nemeke. The New Jersey State Board Recognition Program nominee goes to a student who did a lot of community service in the town and participated in a lot of activities in our school and again, is a very hardworking student. This year's nominee was Alexis Kaur. The University of Rochester George Eastman Young Leaders Award is given to a junior for outstanding achievement in leadership and academics. The awarded student will be eligible for the George Eastman Young Leaders Scholarship to the University of Rochester. The student from this year's junior class who will receive the award is Megan Green. Congratulations to all of our award winners this evening, and we will now have the remainder of our program. Thank you. Hello, and thank you for tuning in to this year's 2020 Award Night presentation. I will, pre will be presenting the Bennett Singh Brand Scholarships on behalf of Mrs. Veronica Sidhu, one of our scholarship donors and former DHS guidance counselor. The Sidhu Brand family gives this award to an aspiring scholars to help them further their education. It is an opportunity that was denied Bennett, a little boy who loved learning. Here is a message from Mrs. Sidhu who was a guidance counselor in Dinellen for many years and was Bennett's grandmother. Please take advantage of every opportunity to learn and grow. It is precious, your life. Do not waste it in grumbling and finger pointing. Strive for harmony. Use each day to renovate and renew yourself using the means available to you. Congratulations to this year's winners and may God bless you. 
Those are the words from Miss Veronica Sadu. This year's winners are Tamar Saad, a junior who will attend the Virtual Health and Biomedical Sciences Pro Summer Program at v Lebanon Valley College. Abe Santiago, a junior who will attend the Virtual Actuarial Science Summer Program at Lebanon Valley College. And seniors, Alexis Kaur, who will be attending the University of Alabama in the fall. Zia Maro Vasconas Medrano, who will be attending Montclair State University in the fall. And Michelle Paraguay, who will be attending Middlesex County in the fall. Congratulations to all of you. It is well deserved. The next two awards I will be presenting are on behalf of Ms. Ann Ryan, another one of our scholarship donors. The William L. Clay Memorial Award, and this scholarship is given for excellence in the humanities. Tonight's winner has distinguished himself in the arts as well as in his academics. This year's winner is given to Lorenzo Fasaponti Manella. And the next award I will be presenting, which also um, Mrs. Ryan uh, donates to, is for the John C. Ryan Memorial Award. This scholarship is given for excellence in the sciences. Tonight's winner has distinguished herself in the sciences as well as her other academic classes. The winner of this year's award goes to Laurel Ann Honeywell, who will attend George Washington University this fall. Congratulations to both of you. The next and final award I will be presenting is the Rensselaer Award. The Rensselaer Medal is a scholarship opportunity worth $120,000 for outstanding math and science students who apply and are accepted to the Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute. The medal was first presented in 1916 with two purposes to recognize the superlative academic achievement of young men and women and to motivate students toward careers in science, engineering, and technology. This year's recipient of the Rensselaer Medal goes to Megan Green. Congratulations to all of you, and I hope you have a wonderful summer. Hello, I'm Mr. McGovern, and I teach several of the sciences at the high school, including chemistry, physics, and forensic science. That means I have the honor of handing out the University of Rochester Science Awards. The first award is the Bausch & Lomb Science Award. This is a bronze medal presented each year to winners at over 7,000 participating schools throughout the United States, Canada, and several foreign nations. This award recognizes a junior student who has attained high scholastic standing in science subjects. The awarded student is eligible for the Bausch & Lomb Honorary Science Scholarship to the University of Rochester, and the student from this year's junior class who receives this medal and honor is Stephanie Fetzer. The second award is the University of Rochester Xerox Award for Innovation and Information Technology. The Xerox Award honors a junior student for their outstanding achievement in the pursuit of innovative approaches and their appreciation of the possibilities of technology. The awarded student is eligible for the Xerox Award for Innovation and Information Technology Scholarship to the University of Rochester. And this year, the award goes to Ryan Farrar. Congratulations to these two winners and all of our honorees today. Good evening. John Connolly worked at Dinellon High School for 23 years. He was a history teacher and a basketball coach, but he spent most of those years as a guidance counselor. During that time, John helped many young people to find their way, and he did so very quietly, without thought of recognition. This award is presented to a senior who has quietly served others without thought of recognition or reward. This year, the award goes to Edwin Samayoya. Thank you. The following students have participated above expectation with their volunteering hours. The Community Service Awards this year go to Aaron Barnett and Nicholas Christian. Congratulations. Welcome. This year, Danellan High School art students have been very prolific from the murals in the hallway and the sets for the drama department to the Danellan themed mural in the cafeteria. I am so proud to present the Art Excellence Award this year to the following students for the murals completed in the hallways. Mateo Aguilar, Christina Wouter, Christina Mancelsi, Aaron Barnett, 
Melissa Kleiser, Sarah Nemeke, Alondra Gomez Orellana, Irene Perez, Morgan Douglas, and Nina Green. The last three awards go to the art club students that put the most hours creating the Dinellen themed mural in the cafeteria. Ibiza, Santiago, Ruby, Zoe, and Priscilla Mendez. Congratulations. Hola. On behalf of the world language Spanish teachers, I'm very proud to present the Outstanding Achievement in Spanish Language Study Award. This award is given to students who excelled in their study of Spanish, not only in writing, speaking, and comprehension, but also enjoy learning Spanish. It's my pleasure to present this award to Adam Dugan for level one, level two, Jamie Fernandez, number three, Michelle Zalazar. Next, the Spanish Proficiency Award is presented to a student who excels far above the expected. The student performs at a superior academic level, produces outstanding work, and sets high goals. It is my pleasure to present the Spanish Proficiency Award to Dia Cura. Congratulations. Hasta luego. Bonjour. This award is the Outstanding Achievement in French Language Study. This award is given to a student who excelled in their study of French. This student not only excelled in writing, speaking, and comprehension, but also enjoyed learning the language. It is my great pleasure to give this award to Isabel Parcel. The French Proficiency Award. The French Proficiency Award is given to a student who excels far above what is expected. The student performs at a superior academic level, produces outstanding work, and sets high goals for themselves. They excel in writing, speaking, and comprehension, but also come to class with a positive attitude consistently. They also enjoy learning the language. It is with great pleasure to give this award to Kelly Gordon. I'm honored to present the Math League Awards to six gifted students who participated in the New Jersey Math League contest conducted once a month for six months. Each of these contests had challenging questions from different areas of mathematics. Dinellon High School continues to be ranked one of the top five in Middlesex County and is recognized as a high scoring school statewide. The following students have accumulated the highest scores this year. For this, they are being honored with a certificate of recognition. They are Aaron Barnett, Nicholas Christian, Laurel Ann Honeywell, Irene Perez, Abe Santiago, and Ruby Zhao. This next award is for the Continental Math League, which is another set of competition for ninth graders. The Continental Math League competition consists of five sets of meets. The students with the greatest number of correct answers on all five tests is being recognized. This year's honoree is Emily Christian. Thank you again for joining us for awards night. Congratulations again to all of our award winners and their parents for their support and to the students for all of their work that they've done throughout the school year. Next year, hopefully this presentation, we will be able to do again in person. The end of the school year is upon us, only a little bit more time, and I'm sure everyone is looking forward to the summer. We have graduation coming for our seniors. We all know they are looking forward to this big moment in their lives. Thank you again for joining us for awards night, have a great day.